hello and welcome to this session on postman beginner tutorial and in this session we are going to learn all about variables so we are going to go very basic step by step and we will see what are variables in postman why do we use variables how to create variables and then how do we refer the variables towards the end of this session we will also discuss some very useful tips so let's get started and I have already written some notes to get started. So variables are any elements or data store that can take different values. So variables are same in Postman as they are in any other programming language. So they are used to store and variables can take different values and these values can then be referred. And we need to use variables because these can be reused and we can give a single variable and use it at multiple locations it helps us to avoid repetition and it also helps us to prevent or avoid rework when the value changes so we just have to change the value at one location now let's go to our postman and start creating some variables so I will go to my postman and before we begin I am going to the settings and I will go to the settings and I am going to themes and let me use a darker theme so that it is more sharper to view and yes now we have this workspace one that we have been creating and we have this collection one that we have created in our last session and we have two request get user and get user list now if you see in get user and get user list the initial URL is same in both the cases you can see this URL is same so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to store this value in a variable and will be referred here. So what I will do is now I can create variables at multiple locations. I can go uh, to the collection level and click on these three dots and here go to edit. And in the collections window, you will have a section for variables. Click here and now I will give a variable name I will say URL and I have to give the value which is that URL so let me first copy this this is the value I will go back to collections and edit and variables and again now I will give URL equals to this value and I will update it and now I have to refer this variable here so in get user I will refer the variable so the syntax is we have to give double curly braces and inside the double curly braces we have to give the variable name and similarly let me give a forward slash here and similarly I will copy this and also give it in the next request which is this one and that's it so let me just again verify the variable that we have yes it's fine now let us run and check if we are getting a valid response so I will say send here and yes I'm getting a response back and similarly I will do send here as well and yes we are getting a response back so our variables are working fine now variables have different scopes so you can set it at collection level what we have done just now you can also set it at environment level so if you go to this manage environment here you can create environment and then variables that you will create in the environment will be at the environment level if you click on this global here you can create variables at global level for example I say name equals Raghav and environment equals automation so these are now variables at the global level you can save it and if you now go to this quick look icon it will show us all the global and the environment variables so for now we have set some global variables and you can see them here now now a very useful tip is if you have used variables and you want to see what exactly is the value referred during your test what you can do is you can go to the view menu and select show postman console so it will start a new window for postman console and and let me split my screen so that you can see both the postman and the postman console window side by side now what will happen is whenever I will run anything 
we will get the logs in the postman console so let me just run this request which is the get request and you can see the logs here and now you can see here the variable URL is now being referred with the actual value that it has and you can also see all the other request and response here similarly if I run any other request as well I will do send again and if I again go to the console screen now you can see there is the second log here and you can again see all the details with the variable value being referred and is being shown here so this is very handy it will be very useful while you are troubleshooting with variables so so we will also learn about how we can set and get variables through scripts in the coming session. I hope this session was very useful for you and if you like the session please hit the like button and share with others and if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will meet you in the next episode of Postman. Thank you for watching.